and whew, you can tell uh, he's a shooter. He, uh, he's got a lot of bone on his head, a lot of bone. So, possible. Awesome. Okay, we made it to camp and my wife is videoing for me. We're gonna scout for a couple days. The hunt doesn't start till Saturday morning and it is Tuesday evening. And in true fashion, I forgot our propane cooking stove. So we're trying to make dinner, but that's kind of a problem now. So we're gonna go old school. We're gonna build a fire, get the coals nice and hot and we're gonna cook our dinner over the fire. So I'm gonna dig out a little bit first because this fire ring's not the best. Fire ring was already here, but I wanna make it a little bit deeper, a little bit safer. So I'm gonna dig out, just kinda put this dirt on the sides of our fire pit. Make this a lot safer. And then I got some dry wood and the most important fire starter there is, some gasoline. So, let me get this going. Got some cardboard. Got some nice old dried wood that will light real good all right you guys ready for this fun this is how you start a fire Boy Scout water here. Make sure you use plenty. <laughs> Make sure you get this far away from the fire. stick our pan on it, our pot on it, and cook our dinner. So there you have it. All right, I'm gonna give you an update. There's the wife playing on her phone. <laughs> She's been finding deer and bucks for me. So uh, we found the buck from last week and I put spotting scope on him and he is probably an 88 to 90 inch buck so been cruising looking for for other for other bucks and other deer and about 10 minutes ago I glassed up a shooter buck he's a little over 2,000 yards away and he just kind of disappeared down in the cut 
out of our view. So I'm sure he's going to bed for the day because it is, well, let's see what time it is, 9.45. So I'm sure he went down into that cut to bed for the day. So we're just going to stay here for a little bit longer and watch that area and see if for some reason he pops back over out of the cut. If not, we're going to see how we can get a little bit closer. So stay tuned. Hopefully I can get some video of him either today or in the next couple of days before the hunt. And then put it all together opening morning. That would be phenomenal. Okay, tell us what you're doing. Whew. Trying to fix this road here. You can tell rain and everything has washed this road out real good. So it made this side extremely high and this side really low. And so we don't want the Can-Am to be sitting like this and then roll down the steep, nasty canyon. So we're doing a little road work here, trying to make it better. We're trying to get deeper into this country to get a little bit closer to a buck I found at about, I don't know, 9.30 or so. He's pretty far away, but he looks like he's a shooter. He's bigger than, significantly bigger than these two other bucks that we found. So I think he's gonna be our target buck. And so we're trying to get deeper in there get to a spot where we can glass from this afternoon and evening and see if he won't cooperate and come back out into a spot where we can see him. He kind of disappeared into a cut, probably to bed, that the only way we're going to get eyes on him is if we put on a little bit of a hike and I don't want to really mess with that right now. We're still a couple days away from opening day and we'll save that for opening morning. So that's what we got. All right, giving you an update. It is about 2.45. We've relocated to a spot that puts us a lot closer to where that buck was this morning. Uh, we shaved off about a thousand yards. You saw in the video we had to do some road work and took us a little while to get back in here and then we got to a spot where we just we couldn't go anymore and it allowed us to be able to turn the side by side around so we stopped there and we hiked about another half mile into a knob and puts us at about 1100 yards from where that buck was this morning we haven't found embedded yet uh, ginger glassed up a couple other smaller bucks about 30 minutes ago but they even topped over a little ridge and disappeared so we're just going to keep glassing here and see what we come up with so far Ginger's a glassing queen she's found several little things little things yeah couple little bucks and some does which is great hopefully that buck shows up this afternoon or evening and get some video of him and really see how big he is so stay tuned all right I'm gonna try to get on this buck I just found the big buck that I found this morning I'm going to try to get on him and see if we can see him in the camera here. Oh, come on. He is right there. That is the big boy. Do you want to come look? 
that's the big boy. It is 4.45 when I just found him. Is that the doe walking to the left by those prickly pear? Give you guys an update. It's opening morning. Located the big buck. He's pretty far away from where he's been. He's got uh, four does that we know of. He chased another buck off that looked like he was probably a mid 90s buck. We're on our way, Ginger and I, to see if we can seal the deal. My dad's up on top with the radio, so hopefully we'll have some good news shortly.
Where'd he go? To the right. He's just walking up there. He's behind that way. He's on the back leg. Got him. He's, he looks like he's going down. He's going to go down. He's going in a circle. He's laying down. He just lay down? He's trying to. His back end's not down all the way. Oh, I see him. He's going down. Yeah.